like the picture looks like it was one. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want more yeah. coverage. A symphony? <laughs> I like this one. Why? You look like the White Ranger. Those are super fast shoes. Like, like my, like, like my school shoes. Mm -hmm. I gotta try out outside. You need to go to your mommy and brush your hair. I don't have a brush. Hey. Hey, can you come get Jaden and fix his hair? I don't have a brush or anything. Like a boss. Mm -hmm. Careful, there's a Bye. See you later, my bro. He looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's the rest of us see you. Makeup. I see the face. Yeah. 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 Happy eight years anniversary, my love. It has been a long but an incredible life journey with you. You are my soulmate, my best friend, my other half, and today I will call you my husband. Put it in his hair. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah, look at you. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna watch mommy that I kiss? Okay. Yeah. Mine is hot. Gross. <laughs>
need you. today. Today we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met, they fell in love, and they're coming together before you to seal their lives in holy matrimony. Love is patient, love is kind. Blessed be this day, and blessed be these moments. When two become one, many things blend and unite. The bride and groom have chosen to show this through adding the traditional ceremony of the veil, cord, and coin. At this time, I would like to invite the sponsors to bring forth these symbols. I'd like you to present the coin. With the exchanging of coins, it is the understanding that the husband is the breadwinner and the wife is the homemaker. So the coins were given and received not in spirit of reciprocity, 
but in a give-and-take relationship. Nowadays, the coins are a reminder of good stewardship for all couples, that they will mutually support each other, their children, and the world around them. May God bless these coins that symbolize the mutual support and responsibility. May the sponsor with the veil, veil come forward. This veil is a symbol of the faithful of love that you have for each other. Through the passing of years, let the veil remind you that you belong to each other and no one else. Will the sponsor with the cord please come forward? This cord symbolizes an infinite bond of love that you share, that keeps your relationship strong in the face of adversity, as well as that you both are no longer two but one in marriage. May this cord remind you to face your life together courageously and to be mutual in support to each other and carrying out your duties and responsibilities as a couple. And may your love grow stronger and bind you closer together through the years. You are now wearing the symbols of marriage. They show the purity of your love, the bond of marriage, and the prosperity of your lives. I know that everyone here will play to, brush, to bless your marriage, home, and all that enter there. May I have the sponsors? I'd like you to remove the cord. The veil. <laughs> and the coins. Thank you to all the sponsors for your part in this ceremony. Brandon and Rima, please hold hands. I, Rima, take you, Brandon. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through good times and in bad. Through good times and in bad. I pledge to keep myself only to you. I pledge to keep myself only to you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Brandon, repeat these vows after me. I, Brandon. I, Brandon. Take you, Rima. Take you, Rima. As my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through good times and in bad. Through the good times and the bad. I pledge to keep myself. I pledge to keep myself. Only to you. Only to you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. These rings are a visible symbol of your love and commitment to each other. By exchanging them, you're showing the world that you belong to each other. Brandon, take Rima's left hand and place the ring. Repeat these words after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Rima, please take Brandon's left hand and place this ring. <laughs> Repeat these words. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With the sharing of vows and the exchanging of rings, your lives and family are now one. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida and by my ordination, I now pronounce you married. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>
I wanted to start off by saying thank you for inviting us, of course. And at and Kujin, you guys look amazing. For those who don't know me, I am Rima's little sister. And for those who do, you're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, just want to say, um, hold on, hold on. No, I'm not gonna cry, Jesus. All right, Atarima had eight years of bliss before she was blessed with a younger sister. <laughs> what? Yo, this is my speech, so no, 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 no. Make, let me do me. All right, I, I remember her doing my project, buying my clothes, and wanting to do everything she does. <clears throat> My sister's very, very unpredictable. There are, there are days in the Philippines where I wake up with hickeys on my arm, my stomach. That is true, you know that. Do not lie. There are also times where she licked my face just to annoy me. Nuh -uh, not only when you're drunk, stop lying. You <laughs> All right, and um, but even though she does that, I mean, she's still an amazing sister. I mean, she gives me everything. Her clothes is all, I mean, her closet is always open for me. So that's great. Um, for Kuya Jin, I will let your, um, what's that? Uh, your best man do that, do that 
do the speech for you, okay? Because I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I don't have any embarrassing things about Kujin. But, uh, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> so, uh, growing up, we have a little bit of rules we have to follow. I thought I would pass some of these rules on to you guys. First, respect. For us, this means respect for our elders. For your marriage, this means you may be grown, but still listen to your parents um, because they still are, they're still older and wiser. Second, sharing. For us, this means sharing toys, remote control, clothes. For you, this means sharing your feelings, good or bad and um, sharing your hopes and dreams together. Lastly, forgiveness. For my siblings, this means forgiving me for all I've done because I am the youngest. <laughs> for you, <laughs> that's true, I am very spoiled. <clears throat> for you guys, this means forgiving each other for mistakes you have done in the past and, you, uh, and will do in the future. I hope you guys took it. I hope you guys took advice, take this advice, and use it throughout your life together. All right, if everyone could please raise their glass. Can somebody pass my tequila? <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. <clears throat> I would like to make a toast. To the, here, here. To, to the, <laughs> to the new Mr. and Mrs. Goodell. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not done. Here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. Congratulations, guys. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I like you guys, you're awesome. Before I begin, I just want everyone to know that I did not ask for permission for most of the things I'm about to say, so I will apologize up front. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so first thing is first, that your newly announced bride is gorgeous. And that you will never find another one like her, so please don't mess it up. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> now, there are a lot of people that I have seen that I do not recognize. And I figure if I don't know who you are, you probably don't know who I am. So my name is Philip. And I have, no, I have the pleasure of knowing this guy, to the left of me, for the past four years and some change, but I'm pretty sure it's like six or seven. I, don't have, I have no idea how long I've known this guy. It's been a long time. I am actually surprised we ended up becoming friends at all because our first confrontation was much more physical and a lot less friendly. <laughs> but somehow, from that point on, we became friends. I just didn't know at the time that we would end up being as close as we are today. This man has been there in some of my highest moments, like recently, I purchased a house and he offered to help me move in, but I told him that he couldn't help us do anything because we don't have anything, <laughs> so he couldn't help us bring anything into our house. He's also been there for some of my lowest moments. Going through a very rough time in my life, he taught me how to surf um, as a way to get my mind off of things. Um, he also took me to Foley to go shopping for random stuff that we don't need in the first place. Um, but it was a fun time. He's also been there for some of the weirdest moments in my life, like being in New Orleans, walking down the street with a fishbowl around our necks, <laughs> and yelling, fishbowl pump, at random people going down the street. A lot of mistakes were made. <laughs> but it was awesome nonetheless. This man is loyal to a fault and one of the most laid back individuals I have ever met in my entire life. This guy has also made me think and challenge my own convictions. Usually in those late night, three in the morning conversations that usually end with, I still love you man, but I need to go home now. <laughs> he will always put others' needs in front of his own. Unless he's playing Destiny, then everything else goes out of the window. <laughs> so, to you, sir, it seems that you are now completing the adult trifecta. You have your wonderful son, who is going to be the coolest, most Pokemon and anime knowledgeable kid <laughs> in his preschool. 
You have purchased a house that you have now made into your home. And now, today, you are hitting your biggest accomplishment yet, getting married. <laughs> you have found someone that you can have a friendship with and love as much as you do, and that is an amazing feat. And not everyone gets to experience that. So cherish these moments and cherish each other like I know you will. So in closing this out, I know that you said you did not have a best man, that all of us that were up on stage with you were your best men, but I just want you to know that you are one of the best men that I know. That, 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 stop it, stop it up. That, that you have achieved something that most people search for for a lifetime. And you have solidified yourself in my mind and in my heart as someone that I can call my brother. That we may have different mothers, but I'm pretty sure we have the same DNA. <laughs> so let us toast to the bride and groom. I have a quote that I don't know who it's from, but it sounded good, so I'm going to read it. <laughs> Love does not consist of gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. So that's a metaphor. But literally, as you look out in that direction, um, know that all the people who are looking back at you are honored to share today with you. So a toast to the bride and the groom. <laughs>